little review tonight. Um, and tonight it is a review of the Patagonia Retro X fleece. It's been years since I've had a fleece, genuinely probably 20 years, but they are super, super useful just for layering. Um, this one in particular is a bit windproof, or it is windproof, so that, that's extra useful. But really what I was looking for is something to just put under some of my outer garments, like the Heritage uh, jackets from Buzz Rickson, so the uh, Tropic Combat or the Parker, or a bit of denim, um, just to make them a little bit more practical on the cooler summer evenings or going into the autumn and winter months. So I picked up the Patagonia, really, really like its retro styling. Um, I'd seen these years ago, always fancied one, um, but what really, really brought me back to it was um, a company called The Real McCoys, um, and they do fantastic um, heritage clothing, sort of certainly up there, if not better than Buzz Rickson's, but at a significant price. So they do a jacket which is very, very similar to this. It's actually a woolen jacket rather than synthetic, absolutely beautiful, but way, way beyond what I thought was a reasonable price. And obviously being wool, it's not gonna be easy to launder and look after. So the Patagonia is what I went for. And if you know anything about Patagonia, there's there's a few things uh, that stand out. You know, they are one of the main and original innovators in outdoor clothing, and they're also wonderfully sustainable and really think about how they do business and the planet. Um, so just in terms of the history, um, Patagonia are arguably one of the first makers of fleece. Um, they bought out their first fleeces in the early 70s, uh, looking to help hikers and mountaineers um, swap out their sort of previous woolen jumpers for something more uh, robust, uh, sort of a lower profile, high performance and easily laundered. So that's kind of what Patagonia is about. Um, in terms of their sustainability, it's got to be something we're all thinking about. I think the days of fast fashion are, are well over and you know, denim, heritage layers, that sort of stuff is I think quite good sustainably wise. Or, um, but Patagonia use modern fabrics and they really get it right. So initially when I read the labels inside this, they were talking about recycled fibers. And from what I understood, recycled fibers, not that good. Um, so you're take, taking sort of plastic bottles, for example, and recycling them. Um, that is the last incarnation they'll have, and then it's into landfill. But Patagonia have done it differently. Um, if you go to their, their webpage, which is called Worn Wear, um, you can find out all about it. They will recycle everything they can. They'll repair and resell clothing at a discounted rate. And if they can't do either of those things with them, they will store them until there's a viable alternative rather than landfill. And I think that's pretty outstanding, to be honest, because I thought, hmm, have they got it right? But I think they've nailed it. Have a look at the webpage, tell me what you think. Um, in this particular model, um, you're talking between 50 and 85% recycled fibres. Overall, um, they use 68% of their, their fabrics are from recycled origin, and that's compared to 10% of normal global manufacturers, so that's pretty good. Um, the other thing to note in this, uh, to help with its environmental credentials, is they use a product called HiQ, and that's an anti-odor product, and all that means is you don't need to wash it as often. So again, fantastic uh, innovation and thought going into their product. So let's have a quick look at the features on this jacket. Just coming in for a few close-ups here, you've obviously got the nice navy blue and turquoise contrasting panels, zip pulls and collar. You've got a nice, I think, quarter inch thick polyester fleece. The outer side of this is 85% recycled material. On the inside, you've got a warp knit, um, wind resistant mesh. That's 50% recycled material. And then you've got this storm flap, wind flap on the inside of the zipper there. Got a useful almost want to call it a map pocket, but it's not quite big enough, but a chest pocket there. Fully lined. I wouldn't like to say that's going to be waterproof, but certainly useful. 
a few items in there. Moving down the body, you've got a couple of hand warming pockets with the windproof mesh fabric on the inside. At the hem, you've got a nice bit of piping. It's pretty good stitching all the way around. Going down the sleeve, they describe this as a Y-jointed sleeve. Flexibility, and if you look, the whole uh, front panel here is all one piece on each side. And the same, I think, on the rear. So I guess that's how the Y-joint flexibility is achieved. I'll report back on that. Down to the cuff. Again, nice bit of piping. So on the inside, it's got the same lining throughout. Down to the bottom, size medium. I guess that's a hang tag. You can hang that up. Um, yeah, really nice layer for the colder months. Well, that pretty much brings us to the end of the review. Um, I should obviously tell you about fit. I'm 5'10-ish, 75 kilograms-ish, and this comes in at a medium, and I think that's a really good fit for me. Um, I found all Patagonia products I've had to be fairly consistent in the sizing, so I'm medium all the way, which is always nice. It's such a pain when you're surprised by the different sizing of clothes and have to send them back. So that's the fit. This comes in at £180 in the UK. That's not a cheap fleece, um, but I think it's pretty good for what you're getting here. I got it in the sales. Um, summer at the moment so you know a warm fleece like this isn't sort of rushing off the shelves so i got it for i think 130 um so I, i'm pretty happy with that deal and yeah if you've had this fleece tell me what you think if you've had any patagonia products or you've got an opinion on their environmental and sustainable credentials let me know what you think um yeah i hope that's useful if you found it useful give it a thumbs up um if you want to subscribe to the channel please take a look around you might find that we share some other common interests heritage boots denim a bit of cycling a bit of uh flashlights everyday carry fountain pens and so forth do check it out subscribe and i'll see you for the next video okay thank you very much bye bye